It's Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and I coach people and organizations, helping you be more effective in a variety of different ways. Someone posed the classic scenario. My resume has gone in from two different sources. Oh, my God. And, you know, in days of old, that was a real problem. And I speak from the perspective of I was on the side of one of those agents yelling at a company that they were seeing someone who I had previously submitted to them ahead of the other firm, and I was getting cheated. Oh, and firms came up with a solution. If two recruiters argue over the candidate and who got it there first, well, we're just not going to see the person out of which came a different philosophy, settled by a court, but firms decided not to bother. And hence, what carries through today is this fear of being submitted by more than two, more than one source. For you as a job hunter, let me just be clear, it's not a problem anymore. Back in the day where there were no computers, there was a problem, because the only way they had to go by was the date stamp and then someone would write in the time. You believe this? Today, every resume is automatically date and timestamp because it comes in through email or it comes in through an applicant tracking system, some mechanism by which they can determine what the source is. Secondly, all their contracts, and this is whether the recruiting firm has the contract directly with the firm or through an applicant uh, or through a, a vendor management system, All of these allow the firm to reserve the right as to who they're going to choose. So that's where the arbitrariness shows up. And firms say, hey, look, our contract says we can pick who we want to pick this other firm. Now, for you, recruiters try and scare you. Don't let your resume get submitted by two sources. And the reality is it's not really the big problem it once was. Every once in a while, you get a firm that's going to try and you know, mutter about what's wrong with this person. Don't they control their resume and where it goes to? Of course not. Recruiters do. Now, here's the other complication. A recruiter says they're going to submit your resume and they don't, and they never get back to you. And you see a job advertised and you wonder whether or not you should submit. And the answer is yes, they're not getting back to you. And they don't care. And from your standpoint, they're not really working for you. So by all means, don't worry about this two resumes from different sources things. Now, if it's a day from one another, that's different. But most of the time, there's some space that's involved. And you just nod and say, it's okay, submit, no problem. And let's see what happens. And if you're not hearing back from the recruiter, by all means, you go submit. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. My website is thebiggamehunter.us. Go to the site. There's a ton of information in the blog that will help you find work. And if you're interested in one-on-one coaching, there's a button on the home page. Click on that to schedule either a discovery call with me, which is free, or a coaching session for which I'll get in touch with you or my admin will get in touch about how much I'll charge for this for the half hour session. Also want to say, if you're watching on YouTube, see that little button in the lower corner there, in the lower right-hand corner? Click on that, subscribe to my channel. You'll get a lot of information there. Hope you have a great day and take care.